All right, so here is a tutorial on how to do the door of time skip in Ocarina of Time. First of all, a few tricks that we need to get out of the way. If you push up against the wall, coming in at an awkward angle, stop and hit Z, Link will turn perfectly parallel to it. If you'll see, I stopped, I hit Z, and Link uh, turned perfectly parallel to it. Uh, next up, the neutral roll. If you do a side hop and then roll immediately after that, like this, it'll go in a direction that you might not expect. That's called a neutral roll. Uh, you can do that out of back lips. Both left and right at 90 degree angles. Uh, and next up is pause buffering. Right now I'm in the middle of a back lip. And if I pause and unpause in very short succession, I can control how many frames pass by as I'm unpausing. So right now, right there, you just saw one frame of uh, Link's movement, uh, one frame of Link's backflip after the unpause there. Okay, next up is uh, pause buffering. Um, if you pause the game and you unpause, there's a very short amount of time where uh, the game screen is frozen between when the pause screen disappears and the game begins moving again. If you do an input during that time when the game is quote unquote frozen, uh, then it'll execute the input that you uh, put in will execute on the first possible frame. So there, I did a slash during that time. And I execute them on the first frame. Next up, the actual trick. So we're going to align to this wall. And we're going to side hop right, roll right, and now release C during that roll. And now we're facing this direction. Now we'll want to hold slightly back on the control stick so that link goes like this while uh, holding Z. And then hit A, you're going to roll to the left at the 90 degree angle. And you want to uh, release really C during that too. So that is a perfect angle that you want to get. So right here, we're going to side hop into the door and back up. We're going to hold down left to get into this corner. And right now, uh, I'm continuing to hold down left. You'll notice that... Uh, Link's movement is different now from what it would be if I would just hold the hold back. So I'm switching to holding back right now. So this is back. This is down left. Okay, so next you want to look at the A button. You'll notice that uh, although it's in Japanese, it says attack. Now it says jump, attack, jump, attack, jump. You want to hold back on the control stick for as long as you can, or for as much as you can, until right before the A button turns to, say, jump. So keep on slowly tilting back until uh, right before it changes to jump. And what you want to do, hold that position. It's about 6 o'clock on a uh, analog clock, if it helps you visualize it. Then you want to hit A to do a roll, and that roll will go to down left. Uh, and then you want to quickly switch to about 7 o'clock, and then hit A again. Uh, you probably want to mash it for this time. So 6A, 7A. 6, 6A, 7. There we go. And that's how you do the clip. But that's not the entire thing. 
we need to get back in bounds. So we're going to set this up again. Okay, so I got the 6A7A method. And right now, Link is about to go into that uh, blackness, black abyss. Right now, I'm holding left and pausing the game so that I get to the first frame where Link is outside of the, outside of the wall. And then I can't see him anymore. Still trying. One more frame. Okay, there we go. I can't see him anymore. And the what you want to make sure is that Link has not gasped yet. The gasp is the sound that he makes as he's falling. So he has not gasped yet. And I'm still holding left on the uh, analog stick. And right now you want to unpause and then uh, pause buffer a, uh, a B input. And you're going to do a jump slash. And while you're doing the jump slash, you want to mash side hop to the left. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. We got it. Thank you for watching. And if you don't want to go all the way back over to that wall to reset up the door of time clip, the angle that you uh, end up with in this corner can be duplicated over here, but it is slightly different and a little bit hard. So, you align to this pillar here. There we go, we're aligned to it. You come into this corner that we just I uh, just pointed out. Now, uh, if I walk backwards, straight backwards, then the wall will force me a little bit to the left. Like this. There. So now, if you look at the screen, you'll see that the left part of the B button is touching that, um, the pillar uh, that's part of the door frame. Uh, the left part of the B button touching the right part of that door, uh, door pillar. So now that we have that, we're going to hold straight back on the control stick. And it's going to uh, change the A button to jump. What we're going to do, we're going to do a jump, then let go of the control stick, um, hit A, and we're going to roll, uh, and that neutral roll is going to uh, take us uh, almost straight right. So uh, Link would be facing to the uh, right, uh, which is uh, facing the pillar right next to us. But, during that roll, before Link stands up, we're going to hold down, so Link would be facing the wall instead. And I'll show you what to do after that. So, hold back, jump, roll, hold down. So now Link is facing this direction. Now what you want to do, hold right, slightly left, so that Link turns without moving his feet. Uh, without um, moving, actually. He'll uh, turn um, on the spot. And then you hold Z. And right now, I know that this angle is bad because the bottom of the uh, sword icon on the B button, the actual sword icon, not the B button, uh, is touching the... Um, the crease, if you want to call it that, that the wall makes right here, you can see that this red part is touching this 
uh, line right here, it's crease. Uh, you don't want that. You want the uh, red to be slightly to the left of that. So I know that this will not work. So we're going to try it again. Hold back. A, release, hold down, hold left, target. And now I know this will work because the, uh, the, the red part of the sword is slightly to the left. So let's go. There we go. And that's exactly how you do it. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know.